Every time SpaceX makes progress with Starship, some thoughts often pop up in our minds, like Musk's dream is coming true, or we are getting closer to Mars. But Starship is much more important than that. Not only was it designed for Musk's red dream, but it also helps the US maintain its position, carrying the hopes and dreams of humanity in a new era of multi-planetary civilization. Starship has enough power and ability to do that. However, there is one challenge that Starship's power cannot overcome, which is its obstruction by government agencies, mainly the FAA. Instead of helping and promoting development, the FAA is becoming a barrier hindering the development of SpaceX's Starship as well as the entire US aerospace industry. Why is that? Are they not realizing the importance of Starship? And is their operating system too backward compared to the times? Let's find out more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Life has been inhabiting Earth for billions of years. To date, humans have been the dominant species on Earth, but we can't live here forever. We have to go deeper into the universe to find new homes. That is the goal that every country is aiming for, building a multi-planetary civilization. But of course, whichever country does it first will become the leader of that civilization. The US, the most powerful country in the world, leading in most aspects, including the space race, will be the first name we always think of that can realize that goal. This is honestly an unbiased opinion. In the past, the U.S. wrote the first pages of their space exploration story with the achievement of bringing humans to the moon for the first time. In that feat, vehicles such as the Apollo spacecraft and Saturn V rocket played a very important role, and they have become legends in the hearts of every red-blooded American. Since then, NASA and private companies have continuously created their own vehicles to continue writing that unfinished story. One of them is Starship which was created by the current largest aerospace company, SpaceX. The Starship project has been in development since the beginning of the last decade under names such as the Mars Colonial Transporter, Interplanetary Transport System, and Big Falcon Rocket. Pretty sure they had other plans for that F. In any case, it was 2019 when Starship received the name that we know well today. After many improvements, the current Starship prototype is 122 meters high with 9 meters in diameter, surpassing the record height of 110.6 meters previously held by the Saturn V. With such huge size, it can carry a payload of up to 150 tons into orbit and also ferry 100 people, something no rocket or spacecraft have done before. Four. Starship uses an engine designed by SpaceX. They're using Raptor version 2 engines with a thrust capability of up to 230 tons. In the future, SpaceX may use an even more powerful engine, the Raptor V3, with a thrust of up to 269 tons. With these engines, Starship is the vehicle with the most powerful thrust in the world. Additionally, they own a launch and production system considered to be the most modern in the aerospace industry in Boca Chica, Texas. The systems are still being upgraded to achieve the goal of producing a fleet of rockets that can be launched within 24 hours of each other, as SpaceX's leaders have stated. Reuse is what makes SpaceX's brand. We've witnessed them do this many times with the Falcon 9, the Falcon Heavy, and now Starship will be expected to do even more, reusing full-on stages. That will be its advantage over previous vehicles as well as most current vehicles, helping it have sustainable development for long-term missions. This is what NASA needs right now. Therefore, besides realizing Musk's dream, Starship will have other important tasks. As I've said before, it'll help the US continue to maintain its leading position in the space race. And it will help the US in particular and humanity in general move towards the dream of a new era, the age of multi-planetary civilization. With Starship's strength, completing the aforementioned tasks is entirely possible. But all this is easier said than done. There is a huge barrier blocking every step for Starship, and sadly, that barrier comes from government agencies. The agency in question is the FAA. The main mission of the FAA is to build, develop, control, and manage the country's aviation system. With those missions, 
The FAA has to motivate and encourage the development of aerospace. However, the tasks of promotion and development seem to be overshadowed by management and control. Strict regulations and cumbersome processes are making innovation in the aerospace industry much slower. Inspections, surveys, assessments, processing procedures, and approvals can now last several months or more. In those few months, we could have done a lot of amazing amazing things. Perhaps the company that has the most experience with this is SpaceX. After the S-15 flight in May of 2021, SpaceX filed a description of the first orbital test flight, then asked for permission to conduct that launch. The launch was originally scheduled for early 2022. However, the FAA conducted many environmental assessments and other procedures after that, causing the flight to be delayed until April 20th of 2023. A delay that took over a year compared to the initial plan. After the first orbital test flight, the FAA again conducted their assessments. This time, everything was faster, but there was a new problem. After SpaceX showed a completed list of 57 out of 63 corrective actions and asked for permission to fly, the FAA's answer was still no. This time, the reason for the delay was due to the Fish and Wildlife Service wanting to review SpaceX's improvements after that launch. They expect the work to last several months, so SpaceX's next flight will be postponed to 2024. The slow and bureaucratic working style of the FAA and other agencies has caused a lot of disappointment, and even angered many people. Perhaps the most suitable reason is that the FAA is unaware of Starship's importance. They're still stubborn with their traditional and cumbersome system for operations, which is no longer suitable for the current era of aeronautics. Additionally, their vision is confined within the U.S. territory. They're not seeing the big picture, the important role of Starship in the global space race as well as humanity's mission. Meanwhile, on the other side of the Pacific, specifically in China, we rarely hear about such an issue. There's no doubt that China has made very long strides in progress, especially in recent decades. In order to achieve this, aside from the strength of science and technology, their management system is adaptive. Not only is it less affected by outdated processes, the aerospace sector is always favored, receiving the best conditions and great support from the Beijing government. That's why we see the number of Chinese rocket launches gradually becoming more and more. And thanks to that, they have deployed many important missions in a short time span, such as lunar orbit missions, lunar landers, and more. In just over a year, they basically built their own space station, the Tiangong, with a clear plan, along with the power of science and tech, as well as the support of the government, they'll soon achieve their goals or even more. And what they've done has threatened the U.S.'s current leading position. More than ever, the government and the FAA will need to review its regulatory system. If an agency is not helping the aerospace industry develop and has even been reduced to becoming a major hurdle, then should it even be maintained? It's safe to assert that if the FAA, with its snail's pace and bureaucratic working style, were to keep existing, then perhaps none of my Musk's, the Americans, or even humanity's dreams will come true. The moon, Mars, the solar system, and even the universe, everything will be beyond our reach. For the U.S., their previous absolute dominance is still being threatened by their opponents, and the agency that they established that has pushed them into this situation is none other than the FAA. The coming years will be extremely important, which will decide who will win the space race and who will be the leader of the new civilization. With SpaceX, they simply need to do well with Starship as per usual. And when the time comes, and when the time comes, it'll be up to Starship to become the flagship to bring humanity to the new era. As for government agencies, reforms need to be carried out immediately, and barriers need to be broken down, especially if they prevent the development of the country as well as humanity. With the continued failure to adapt, the government and the FAA need to make a decision soon, before it's too late. Well folks, that wraps up our show for today. We hope you enjoyed learning more about what's keeping SpaceX from achieving their goals. If you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider 
consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.